some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Sean Paul Reyes's own backyard of Brookhaven, New York, as he, well, uh, complains about somebody investigating him and uh, makes a rather shocking announcement at the end of the video. And believe me, if this is really the case, I'm sure it'll be another AFA incident. We all remember how his attempt at doing this kind of thing turned out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. I am currently being targeted by the town of Brookhaven, which is located on Long Island, New York. I am a lifelong resident of the town of Brookhaven. How about they regret that? Yeah, I'm sure the town residents uh, really disdain you for being the town drama queen, village idiot, and everything else under the sun. But hey, every town's got to have a village idiot, am I right? If you're from here, you know it's often called Crookhaven. It's a town rife with corrupt and ineffective leadership, leadership who are funded by the Suffolk County Police Union. Go figure. I want everyone to meet Alex Ortiz. He works as an investigator for the town of Crookhaven. He's not a law enforcement officer. In reality, he's more of what you would call a snitch. Several days ago, Alex decided to come to my home uninvited and start interrogating my family. The residents of Brookhaven do not pay tens of thousands of dollars in property taxes every single year to be harassed by our public servants. I don't particularly care for government agents coming to my home unannounced. So I decided to go down to Town Hall and address the issue. Let's get into it. Oh my, Sean. You claim that your family was harassed by a uh, quote-unquote public servant. Oh man, I really hate that word. It gives such a negative vibe, especially when it's used by crooks like you. Hey, how are you? You Sean? Yes, I am. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I've seen your videos before. Oh, yeah? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Do you know who I would talk to? Uh, there was somebody that, so a member of the town of Brookhaven that came to my residence and uh, spoke to one of my family members, and I'm trying to see why. I, I just, I don't like to deal with the government unless I have to, unless I'm investigating a story, and I don't like the government coming to my personal residence. I don't know for what reason. So I'm here to try and find out why. Okay. It was some investigation. I wasn't home. What's the address? Yeah. That's a rather interesting little jump cut right there, Sean. In fact, this whole video is filled with jump cuts, which makes me wonder, uh, what did people say that you don't want getting out there, especially about this particular investigation? If you're in the law or waste management, if you get a ticket, come off the law, I'll look it up. Okay, appreciate it. Give you a pass. You want to go to law? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your license on? Uh, no, I don't give my license to. Give me, uh, give me your name. Yeah, my name's Sean Paul. Sean? Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you too. I just don't like uh, government agents coming to my residence. Okay, it's kind of weird. For the pass. Always taking our picture. Yeah, it's just for the pass. That's okay. Just so we know what's in the Does it get stored on anything? Uh, it, it, it's in there if you come back. Okay. You can get rid of it. All right. Sounds just curious. Thank you, ma'am. So you're going to take the elevator to the third floor. Okay, thank you. You don't have to video me. Oh, excuse me? You don't have to video me. I don't have to record? Nope. Why? Because I'm not doing anything. No, I just, I appreciate your help, sir. But it's I'm not a, the, I'll no. Video. Okay. If you want my help, shut off the video. If I, if you, if I want your help, I have to shut off the video? Yes. Sir, you're a public servant. I pay a lot of taxes here. I just document everything. I didn't come to your house. And somebody, from, we came to your house. somebody allegedly from the town of Brookhaven came to my home. I investigate the government. This is what I do for a living. Okay. And the government coming to my home concerns me. So you investigate the government, huh? Okay. Uh, how is uh, skulking around uh, prisons uh, investigating the government? Because, well, if you want to see corruption, that's not exactly how to do it because they're not exactly going to have it out in the open, dude. But at any rate, he's about to shut off the camera and they're going to have a little chat behind closed doors. And uh, 
Well, the next few moments are going to reveal something about the uh, possible rationale as to why the investigator was at Sean's house, but he never mentions it again. And we all know why. If it's not part of his narrative, then he's going to uh, drop it out and not use it as a brick in his wall of bullshit. Alex was there. He said he spoke to you yesterday and gave you his card, but here it is again. I'm, I've never heard of an Alex. I've never spoke to okay. an Alex. That's who you got to call. This is why you talk Alex Ortiz? Yeah. Okay. okay. Do you know why he was at my residence? I don't. He works. What is his job? What is his role? Investigator? Investigator. But investigating what? Probably illegal apartments, illegal rentals, illegal housing, stuff like that. Okay, here's the uh, important part right here. The investigator Alex Ortiz right here. Yeah, uh, whenever I've done a search on him, it always comes up with uh, some form of property investigation, code enforcement violations, or anything like that associated with his name. So good old Sean Paul Reyes is a code enforcement officer uh, investigating possible issues with his uh, property. What are you not telling us, Sean? Are you trying to build something on your property that... Uh, needs to be inspected or anything like that. I mean, this whole thing seems rather suspicious to me. Yeah, but that's Sean Paul Reyes for you, never giving you the whole story. Okay, so I can talk to Alex? Yeah. Is he in right now? No, he's not. Okay, all right, thank you, sir. What was your name again so I know I spoke to? Frank? Thank you, Frank. Appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the individual, apparently, who came to my home, said he spoke to me. Never spoken to anybody from the town of Brookhaven in my life, other than when I came here to audit the town of Brookhaven, which didn't go so well. Didn't go well at all. Sean, you lie so damn much, you can't even keep your own damn lies straight. First thing in the video you said is that he talked to your family. Now you're saying the investigator talked to you personally. Come on, boy, keep your damn lies straight. And maybe more people will believe you. I mean, this is just freaking ridiculous. The last time I was here, let's take a look back and see exactly what happened. Well, Sean, we're not going to go through all of that because you turned it into a garbled mess of garbage. With so many jump cuts that it's hard to keep track. In fact, uh... I'm only going to show a couple of examples and I'm going to skip to the end of the video where you make a rather shocking announcement. Well, not so shocking considering that uh, AFA tried it a few months ago and it ended up blowing up in his face. Why are you filming this? I'm just working on a story, sir. It's not, it's, there's no issues here. There's no issues. Okay? Thank you. Why are you in here filming? Because I, it, because I, we because I, people in here filming any other time. But you, you can't, but you, you can't stop. Maybe because nobody has tried to do it. But you definitely can't stop people but from what's filming. What's your reasoning? I'm exercising my First Amendment right. That's all, ma'am. Oh, I'm yeah. Those. I got it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't work for the public if you're not going to be nice, ma'am. You're gonna be down here. And that's pretty much the way the video goes for the rest of the time. It's just nothing but a bunch of circular reasoning and jump cuts from this point on. So I'm not going to subject any of you guys to that. But what I am going to do is jump to the end of the video where he talks about his future with the town that he lives in. And if he tries what he says he's going to do and succeeds, well, it's not going to be a very bright future for that town. All right, fellow patriots, I want to make it very clear that I am not in violation of any town ordinances. This is a targeted attack against a journalist who investigates corruption in government. It's very sketchy that as soon as I started talking to people in my town about running for Brookhaven Town Supervisor, that all of a sudden I have investigators at my door harassing my family. It's absolutely disgusting. Oh, so it happens all of a sudden uh, whenever you start talking to people about running for uh, that position uh yeah sean uh, i do believe over a year ago we saw uh people coming up to your door to uh question you about certain things so this is not a new occurrence dude you don't have a very good reputation in your town what makes you think that you can actually win this election it would be a long shot at best because you've left a lot of people in your town with sour tastes in their mouths. It actually makes me want to run even more now. 
so that I can not only stop the town from harassing its residents, but also implement transparency in our government. The fact that the town takes pictures and identifies every single person entering City Hall and keeps that in a database is absurd. I believe that there's a lot of good I can do, and I will continue to use my platform to promote transparency and accountability. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about me running for public office and changing the system from the inside? I would literally live stream on a separate YouTube channel my entire day to show taxpayers what public servants do on a day-to-day -day basis and be completely transparent. What a load of bullshit that you have right there, Sean. I mean, you have a, a nice little criminal record right there. You have uh, been convicted of strong-armed robbery, and that's by your own admission. And you have other things on your record that, well, uh, should uh, give people pause as to why they should even vote for you to begin with. Then there's the issue of cataloging people who have been into that building, uh, Sean. Uh, why is it so upsetting to you that that's even happening? Because would you want that kind of thing to happen? Because if somebody went in there who wasn't supposed to be in there to begin with, who would have ill intentions in that place, well, wouldn't you guys want to know if they re-entered the building? Or what if something happened to the building itself and they need to, to understand who was in there at that particular time? That way they can cross-reference those people who actually made it out of the building before the catastrophe to make sure everybody made it out in time. I mean, that's the kind of thing that uh, that database could be useful for, you gibbering idiot. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?